In this video, I am going to solve some problems related to exponential and logarithmic functions. So let us solve this problem first. Assume that for some base a, log x is this. This is given log x to the base a is equal to this and log y to the base a is given which is this and log z to the base a is given three values you are given you need to find the value of this logarithmic expression log x cube y to the power half divided by z so we want to find the value of this logarithmic expression by using <coughs> division rule or quotient rule we can write log x cube y to the power half and this log is of base a you can put a log x cube y to the power half minus log z at base a so we used here a uh, division rule or quotient rule now here we can use uh, product rule we know when you are two number in product form the sign will be positive so log x cube plus log y to the power half and two of them is r of log a base a minus log z now using power rule you can you can consider these three as a coefficient so we can write three log x to the base a plus this half is in power so i can put it in the uh, here half log y to the base a minus log z so we are here in this expression now directly you just need to put the given values for log x for log x if you put 0.3 and for log y you can put 2.8642 and for log z you can put this and by using cal your calculator you can calculate this result so this is the answer of this logarithmic expression similarly you can try this one in your apartment exactly same it will be log x plus log y minus 1 by 3 log z and all of them is of base a so now if you put the value of log x which is 0 0.5 plus 1.5 minus log z equal to 3 minus 3 which is equal to minus 3 which is equal negative 1 so negative 1 is the answer of this one and this next one it says rewrite the following using a single log using log symbol only once so there are there are three logs if you use single log then what will happen uh, the preceding sign of this term is plus so this x will be in the numerator and these two you can put here y square and the preceding sign of y square is minus so you can put y square in the denominator and this half you can put here so z the preceding sign of z to the power half log z to the power half is plus therefore z to the power half will be in the numerator so this is the result now <coughs> remember that and let me show you some other problems related to uh, the problem we just solved you see from 25 26 27 and 28 they are same types of problems so you can try to solve those problems in your apartment 
as well as 33 is also same types of problem you are given log x log y and log z you can calculate this logarithmic expression by yourself now let us try to solve other types of problems uh, for example here it says write the following in inverse form so this is we know this is exponential form of 9 therefore the inverse form of this one will be what log 9 base what is the base here 3 log 9 base 3 the answer will be the index this power 2 this is the inverse form of this exponential form and this one is given in exp exponential form so the corresponding inverse form will be log 32 base will be what base 2 log 32 base 2 and the answer will be 5 and the corresponding exponential form of this one will be n equal 3 to the power x because we know n will be in left side and 3 to the power x will be in the right side and here it will be n equal 2 to the power y here it will be log 0 0.125 base half will be equal to 2 and here it will be log 0 0.04 base 0.2 will be equal to 2 and here the exponential form will be 4 equal 16 to the power half the exponential form will be 3 equal 27 to the power 1 by 3 and the logarithmic form of this one will be log 0 0.125 base 2 is equal negative 3 and for this case log 1 by 9 base 3 is equal minus 2 for this one the exponential form will be 0 0.04 equal 5 to the power minus 2 the exponential form of this one will be 0 0.0625 is equal 2 to the power negative 4 and for this one it will be 20 equal what is base of this log we know ln means log base e so in the right side it will be e to the power 2.9957 for this case it will be 10 equal e to the power 2.3026 for this case it will be 0 0.5 equal e to the power minus 0 0.6931 now for uh, question 17 to 24 you need to find the value of x so we know ln e equal what ln e is equal log e to the base e which is equal to 1 therefore x equal to 1 this implies x equal to 1 and this implies x equal to 1 since uh, when there is no base you should consider 10 this is common logarithm so x equal to 1 and here we can write 4 equal 2 to the power x which implies 2 to the power 2 equal 2 to the power x so on base same we can write x equal to 2 this is the value of x and for this case we can write 27 27 equal 3 to the power x and 27 means 3 to the power 3 3 to the power x therefore x equal to 3 for this case x equal to 1 since log 7 to the base 7 equal to 1 and log 0.5 to the base 0.5 which is 1 so x equal to 1 here 2 equal 4 to the power x and 4 to the power x means 2 to the power 2x and you have 1 here since base same so you can write 2x equal to 1 therefore x equal to 1 half 
and here you can write 4 equal 64 to the power x and 64 means 4 to the power 3x 4 to the power 3 whole to the power x so it will be 4 to the power 3x 4 to the power 1 this implies 3x equal to 1 therefore x equal to 1 by 3 and for problem 25 to 30 you can I think check those problems in your apartment let me show you only 32 only 32 in this problem 5 to the power log 4 to the base 5 equal to x there is a formula which is b to the power log x to the base b equal to x so you can directly write 4 equal to x but let me solve it by taking log on both sides if you consider log base 5 on both sides then it will be this one will be power of 5 to the power x so you can put it here so the next line will be log 4 to the base 5 into log 5 to the base 5 equal log x to the base 5 now log 5 to the base 5 equal to 1 so you can cancel this and you have what log x to the base 5 equal log 4 to the base 5 therefore cancelling log from both sides we can write x equal to 4 so this is how you can solve this problem but directly you can also write for example in this case x equal to 5 and in this case uh, e to the power ln e so x equal to e and in this case you can write 81 equal 3 to the power x and 81 means 3 to the power 4 which is equal 3 to the power x therefore x equal to 4 so i believe you can try to solve these problems in your apartment and that's all in this class thank you very much for your watching